Hello, inspirators and percolators. How y'all doing today? Well, me, as for myself, I'm okay. And I have another hot one for you today. And it's from a, it's nothing of my own. It's from, it's like a copycat. This is a copycat one today, video. It's, it's from uh, Hot Chocolate Hits. So you can visit her channel. She has a wonderful you know, wonderful channel, you know. Um, from Hot Chocolate Hits, this cake is a chocolate pumpkin cake. And I, we had to get a get a dose of that spice this month, you guys. That fall spice. So, we're going to have to, uh, I'm going to really show you all this one. This has a very, it's, this cake is very spontaneous. Very spontaneous. So, you have to be a chocolate lover and a pumpkin lover. I like her. <laughs> if you choose to like this cake. So, I'm gonna give this recipe a shot. Once again, this is not my recipe. This is another, got it from another channel, Hot Chocolate Hits. And it kind of grabbed me and told me to make him make me so I want to give it a shot I want to see how it tastes because this has a lot of different tastes chocolate anything with chocolate is good so any fruit with chocolate any but anyway we're gonna go ahead and take that stroll okay let's kick this fall recipe out We have two tablespoons of butter. It can be salted or unsalted. One and a half cup of heavy cream. And a tablespoon of espresso. We're gonna stir that mix up. We're starting this, this is a ganache. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna heat it up in the microwave for about two to three minutes. Okay, I've gotten it out of the microwave. And I'm going to start with my Ghirardelli milk chocolate bars. Or should I say segments? And we are going to place a package and a half of that Ghirardelli. And also I have an almond bark. We're going to place three segments of almond bark. Chocolate almond bark. You do not have to exactly have the same brand or whatever. But uh, here's my almond barks that has been chipped up. And I'm placing them into the mix. And we're going to stir them. And we're going to place them into the refrigerator after we get that good stir going. But I might have to visit the microwave again about a minute or so until we get this melted to a complete meltdown. And then we're going to place it into the refrigerator for about 30 minutes to an hour. And then here I come. I'm starting on the cake mix. Two cups of pumpkin puree. Another cup of puree, which will be two. I'm coming with my cup of cooking oil. One cup. You can tell this is going to be a rich cake. Anything consists of a lot of oil you, is going to be rich. So this cake cannot help but to be good and moist. Four eggs, four large eggs. Then I'm going to stir this all together. And 
let's reach that 5,000 subscribers, viewers. Please do that. Let's do that. Let's make it to this 5,000 subscriber range point, okay? All right, we're going to stir our mix. We get our mix stirred, and we're going to come with the two teaspoons of cinnamon. Two teaspoons of cinnamon. And one teaspoon of nutmeg. I'm gonna get a stir in it. I'm gonna stir it in a little. Then we're gonna come with our sugar. One cup. I said one cup of sugar, but pardon me. Two cups of sugar. And then we're gonna come with three tablespoons of baking powder and two teaspoons of soda that is combined into this cup. And now we're gonna get our mix on. We're gonna mix it all together. And I also put one teaspoon of vanilla extract into this mix that was not on camera. I got ahead of myself, so excuse me for that. Okay, I'm coming with flour. Two cups of all-purpose flour. And I'm placing a cup in so far on average. Okay, I'm stirring that all in. And then I'm gonna cut with my second cup, which would be the complete two cups of flour. Stir our mix in. Okay. I'm coming with three fourth cups of chocolate chips. And I'm also coming with three fourth cups of chopped walnuts. Okay, let's really make that complete three fourth cup. I'm just adding a little bit more in to complete that three fourth. We're gonna serve, we're gonna stir, we're not gonna serve anything, we're gonna stir. <laughs> I must can't wait for this to be over with, can I? I can't wait to have some of this. <laughs> okay. All right, we sprayed our pans with Baker's Joy, our nine-inch nine pans. And I'm going to pour it around the edges so that I would not have a dome-shaped cake. Okay. And then I'm going to place some more mix into the other pan that has been sprayed also with Baker's Joy around the edges of my pan. Take it around the edges of your pan. You will not have to deal with a dome-shaped cake. But fill it in slightly in the middle. And that can omit that dome shape in your cake a lot. But sometimes you have to just make sure, you know, you fill it in too. Because you don't want the sunk in the middle of your cake. So you want to fill it in just a little bit in the middle. I'm going around the edges. Okay, our ganache has formed its thickness. Okay, we're gonna stir that ganache up, isn't it? We're gonna stir it until it becomes very smooth. Isn't it just have that shiny coat on there? It looks so smooth, isn't it just a beautiful ganache? Okay, our cakes are ready. Okay. And by the way, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spread this ganache on there. I let that ganache set in the refrigerator for about 20 more minutes. And that's why it looks the way that it look. And now I'm going to place my second layer on. And finish my frosting. Okay. Spread that on real good. 
and I let that cake stay in the oven for 30 minutes at 300 degrees. All right, I'm gonna form me a pattern into this cake. Y'all know I'm not a professional. I am not a professional, so I just try to do the best that I can. Okay, I'm gonna give it just a little tad bit design. I'm gonna come around with pumpkin seeds and cranberries, dried cranberries around the edges as a garnish. And this also make it look so seasonal, you guys. It really does. Isn't that just seasonal looking? And then just to cut into that spontaneous, spicy pumpkin moist cake. It just adds more to this cake. This spontaneous, spicy, seasonal cake. And let me give you all a look at this. Y'all know I have to let y'all look at this cake. All right, here we go. All right, ooh, look at that beautiful goldish brown color. No, that just, that just says spicy. It just says fall, fall, it's fall, y'all. The nuts are just rumbling through that cake. Oh, you know I got to try this cake. Oh, look at there, oh, look at there. Look at this. Okay, let me give it a try. Y'all see that? Let me give it a try, let me quit teasing y'all. Mm, mm, mm. It is just fabtastic, you all. Fabtastic. Mm, 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 what a beautiful golden cake. It just speaks fall all over. Beautiful golden cake. But I want to thank y'all for taking a stroll just to see how everything goes when living with V.